Hi everyone. Uh, in the previous session, uh, we have installed the uh, we have installed the uh, 19C Oracle Home and then upgrade from uh, 19C to 1912. Uh, in this, uh, since we have the new Oracle Home, uh, we can create a container database by running the uh, DBCA. Uh, so what I'll do first, you run the environment file, that new environment file, 19C environment file, and run DBCA. in the background yeah continue so here you give dev cdb here will not create a you know pluggable database so we'll create an empty container database remember this point continue continue no need to create any listener configuration just continue yeah here uh, the minimum requirement is 2 GB it is up to you if you want to change it but I'm just giving the very next important thing is our character set so this character set uh, should match with our current uh, 12c environment file so what you do is uh, mm, right run this current on your 12c environment file and verify your uh, character set so if you see what is my what is the character set you can run a query right if you run this query you will get that information what is your character set so it is a uh, us7 ascii and al3288 of 8 so base according to that you can select it here you just uncheck this and come go down and select uh, my us7 ascii and here it is al16 utf8 which is correct so now you can proceed with the next steps uh, no need to configure enterprise manager uh, give the passwords why not I give the password okay no worries so we just given some password so then next yeah before creating the database you need to customize this storage location so you need to see what is your current redo log files uh, on the 12c and then give a, you know, give the same one so for that what i do i have a query to ferry to verify the current uh, redo log files so you can you can connect and verify yeah so yeah so this is the size of the redo log file so we'll give the uh, same size yeah you can check the size of it so which is around 1000 so we can give the same size uh, for all the three redo log files so uh, what you do you just make it mb and make it 1000 and save it apply for each of them you need to save it so again you have to give mb and give 1000 and apply similarly for the third one you give mb 1000 and apply so just verify right now you say okay so yeah so that's the last step what you need to do i pasted all the screenshots and now you are putting now you can proceed with the database creation so this will take for a while i will just pause this particular session well uh, the installation is so uh, completed uh, we can go through the next steps uh, now if you see there are uh, two databases one is the uh, container database and uh, one is the our 12102 database running independently let's see the next steps yeah we can uh, we can export the SID and uh, 
check okay tonight run the 19c environment file export it and check it yes now you can see show pdb you can only see the container uh, row, uh, root uh, but you didn't find any uh, pluggable database you know eventually we are going to add this container database after you know uh, after the upgrade uh, to this particular container database so let's see what is the next step um, right yeah next is we will just apply the uh, data patch and uh, then we will I eventually will take a oh okay we'll apply the data patch and also we'll apply the ETCC patch uh, uh, which is also one mandatory so it will it will tell us like what are the patches to be required so if you very if you see that uh, there are no patches required for it so what we'll do is we'll just apply the ETCC patch and uh, okay the SID is already exported so we'll just run this particular command this will apply the uh, you know data patch so after this we will run the ETCC and uh, as as seen uh, there are no more pending patches to be uh, applied yeah awesome uh, so just let me check the ETCC right Oops, I should have run. Run like this. Export the right and uh, the Well, uh, the XML file is missing. Maybe later on, uh, once we run the auto config and once we get the XML file, then we can uh, we can verify this. Uh, otherwise, we are done with this particular uh, session. Uh, so, in this session, uh, we have installed uh, we have installed Oracle database, applied 1912 uh, patches, and then 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 run created the container database by name Dev CDB, and also applied uh, the you know the data patch. So thank you very much. We'll uh, we'll work on the next session in the next recording session. Thank you.